In just one week, Charlotte City Council will hold a public hearing on redistricting the city. They are drawing new lines, which could affect who uh, represents your neighborhood. But once they take a vote, are the new districts a done deal? Wake Up Charlotte's Megan Bragg verifies this morning. According to the U.S. Census, Charlotte's population grew more than 20% from 2010 to 2020. Because of this, the city needs to draw new maps to make districts more even when it comes to population. Right now, the City Council Redistricting Committee has three maps they are considering and will soon narrow it down to one. But does City Council approve the new map? Let's verify. Our sources, Professor Michael Bitzer, Chair of Political Science at Catawba College and North Carolina Law. Redistricting has not happened in the city of Charlotte in 10 years. Professor Michael Bitzer says redistricting usually happens every decade because of new census data. Right now, District 7 is the only district that is constitutionally compliant when it comes to the one person, one vote rule. So lines must be redrawn, which according to North Carolina law is done by the governing body for the local government. This committee of the city council will bring forward new maps, new district lines, and it'll be up to the city council to approve it. But is city council's vote the end all be all? At the local level, generally, this is a one and done kind of situation unless the General Assembly decides to step in and draw the maps for themselves. Bitzer says the General Assembly has stepped in before. Back in the 2011 uh, redistricting cycle, Mecklenburg County commissioners uh, decided to redistrict their district lines and the legislature was not happy about it. This brought about this House bill that's now law. The General Assembly was able to pass legislation changing the district lines in Mecklenburg County. So the state does have the authority and the power to step in if they don't like the lines that are drawn by the city council or other local governments. So we can verify that, yes, city council approves the district lines. However, the state can jump in and override the district lines if they feel it's necessary. With your Verify, I'm Megan Brown. If you have something you'd like us to verify, text us at 704-329-3600. You can also send an email to verify at wcnc.com.